A breaking news update now. A Cook County judge kicks former President Donald Trump off the March primary ballot. One of two big developments tonight involving the courts and the upcoming elections. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live outside the Chicago Board of Elections with how the late decisions could impact voters. Jermont. Erica, early voting is already underway throughout Chicago. Now, the Cook County judge's decision to remove Donald Trump from Illinois ballot is yet another possible change to an already printed ballot. Anyone voting early or by mail in Chicago can find former President Donald Trump's name on the Republican ballot. Yet Wednesday, a Cook County judge ordered his name removed across the state. Trump's campaign quickly responded, saying, this is an unconstitutional ruling that we will quickly appeal. It's an absolutely meaningless decision. Uh, this issue is being decided right now by the United States Supreme Court. CBS 2 legal analyst Irv Miller points out the highest court has two cases regarding the former president. They have the two big cases right now are the Colorado case throwing him off the ballot because of the 14th Amendment and the question of whether or not he has presidential immunity. The U.S. Supreme Court decided it will hear arguments on April 22nd as to whether Trump should be granted immunity from prosecution. A federal grand jury indicted Trump for attempting to overturn the 2020 election. The U.S. Appeals Court rejected the immunity claim earlier this month. Will this election come down to the Supreme Court, in your opinion? I hope not. I hope it comes down to the people going to the polling place and, and voting on a fair and uh, legal election. Yet the question is just how soon after hearing the arguments will the U.S. Supreme Court make a ruling? They could hear the case on April 22nd and not make a decision until July, if that's what they want to do. They could also make a decision a whole lot quicker. Uh, frankly, it's totally up to the judges. Now, as for the Illinois ballot, the U.S. Supreme Court is expected to have a ruling any day now, according to Irv Miller, on whether states can truly disqualify Trump from the ballots. For now, his name stays on the ballots, despite the judge's order, which was handed down today. Reporting outside the Board of Elections office, I'm Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jermont.